readings, cultists, and ideologists of the one Sith philosophy. Welcome back to the archives. I have been expecting you. Recently, me and a group of my cultists in the Sith planet of Exegol have been peering into the wellspring of dark side of the force that is ancient Sith worlds, and also been excavating the tombs to discover research about a myriad of unique and ethereal dark lords. One of these dark worlds I notice has not been covered in many databases by a multitude of archivists and holocron gatherers was that of Darth Krayt, the Sith Lord who discovered the One Sith and lived for over 180 years. Darth Krayt imposed his will on the galaxy long after the final death of Sidious in Dark Empire. Darth Krayt lived 130 years after the events of the Battle of Yavin and was only killed and permanently vanquished by a Cade Skywalker being caught off guard. As a direct rival to Grandmaster Luke Skywalker and widely considered to be his dark side match, Krayt was no pushover. However, my friends, today we are going to be exploring Krayt interacting with some of my favourite characters in all of the lore. If you have been on this channel for a few weeks, you will know that I love covering videos about the ancient Sith Lords, particular Sith Lords such as Darth Nihilus and Darth Endedu. The Sith who was so paranoid, he had eventually led to his own demise 6,000 years later. And Darth Nihilus, the Lord of Hunger, who could manipulate Force Drain to such an extent he could cleanse entire worlds of Force Energy to augment his own Force Power, who also recently starred as the primary antagonist of my Into the Multiverse series. But I have recently learned that during the Legacy comic issue, which I have been rereading, Darth Krayt actually interacted with not just one, not just two, but three ancient Dark Lords in their apparitional holocrons, that being Nihilus, and Dedu, and Bane, the infamous Sith Lords of the past that many of you would be familiar with, some of the wisest and the most powerful ancient Sith to ever come from the Order. So my acolytes, let us proceed. One quick note I would like to mention is that I'm going to be doing a voiceover for these characters as we have been doing recently, such as during the legacy comics that we have been picking up and highlighting points, such as we are doing today, as well as the Dark Empire comics, where I've been going through all of Dark Empire and doing the voices for the characters within this trilogy of comics. One last thing I would like to notice is earlier when one of my cultists was staring into the wellspring of the Force on Corbin, he received a frightening vision that sent him into a traumatic state. He received a vision after coming to his senses that many of the archivists who explore our databases freely have not enlisted themselves with our academies, and if they desire to explore more knowledge, they are implored to use the Force on the subscribe button. So my acolytes, without further ado, let us begin and explore how powerful and how Darth Krayt truly interacted with the holocrons of a thousand dead year old Sith Lords. Korriband, the homeworld and the graveyard of the Sith. Peace is a lie, there is only passion. Through passion I gain strength, through strength I gain power, through power I gain victory. Through victory my chains are broken. The force shall free me. Dark lords who have gone before those malevolent wisdom lies sealed within the holocrons. Again I summon you. I open my mind to your teachings. Now open the secrets of your power. Lord Andedu, Lord Nihilus, Lord Bane, answer me, teach me, such is my will. So the would-be Sith Pretender returns. My knowledge is not for you. You are not a Sith. Pretender, nor are your rabble. This was my lesson. Two Sith there should be. No more. One holding power. One desiring it. You defy my teaching. I have improved on it instead of two Sith now. There is only one, the Sith Order itself. I have recreated the Sith Lord Bane as you once did. I have even given it a purpose. For what use is power without one? Power is its own purpose. To share it is to dilute it. You delude yourself, pretender. Your order will yet turn on itself and you. The heretic comes for the same reason it came last time. Its body is failing it. Fears that which is consuming it. Lord Bane, you mastered the parasites. 
The obelisk that attacked you, that fed on your body as these Yuzong Vong life forms feed on mine. How? Lord Endedu, legend holds your body died, but you used the force to keep it unified. How? Lord Nihilus, you escaped death by containing your consciousness within your armor. How? <laughs> Weak will pretender, behold your destiny! Let the pretender's fear consume it. No! I take what I desire. I am the living lord of the Sith. This is not the truth, and it is not my destiny. I forge my own way. I walk a new path, and if you will not serve me, be gone. I will find other teachings, other ways. Well, my acolytes, what do you think of this brief comic breakdown? This video was a rather shorter one to the normal content that we produce, as the normal content we produce is roughly 8 to 10 minutes long, with the longest videos we produce sometimes getting to 50 minutes or over, including our lore compilations. Farewell my acolytes, I'll see you in a galaxy far far away, kneel, kneel before the dragon of the Sith, and bow down to the ruler of the Sith Empire, the one Sith, Lord Crate.